Alright guys, what is up? Here in a game between Badgerail and Frago. Badgerail is here on the right hand side. Don't even have to click this chain or this shrine to know who it is because Badgerail only plays UD. And the same goes for Frago. Frago only plays SL, so you don't even have to you just know. If you see uh these two playing each other, you you're gonna know exactly what factions they're playing to. Just like me, to be honest. I'm playing SP all the time too, right? So um Anyway, so first turn Fire Maw here from Badgerail. What a weird deploy. One, because it's Fire Maw. Um, what a very strange champion. You know, it's the, the dragon from that one expansion. I have no idea which expansion that was. I don't Did it say? No, it doesn't. Not that I can see, at least. But um, also, it's just like, look, he can now go top with this Fire Maw. He can go mid, I guess, if he wants. He could have gone last turn mid, actually. But he didn't. So now he's going to go top. And what this means, now, he should be able to deploy, right? Like, yeah, he, he waited two turns, so there should be a deploy here from Badger. He's a font down right now, because he wasn't able to take his own font, right? So yeah, here's the Nerfari uh, Fire Dragon, or sorry, just Nerfari Dragon. Um, kind of squishy, actually, in all reality, 42 HP only. But um, what you can do with this champion, and it's basically worth it, is just to go in, flame strike, sacrifice, and then just get the normal blow. Because <laughs> it does so much damage. It's like you sacrifice, you deal like, I don't know, 23 damage, and then you just sacrifice it, and then you're like, eh, whatever. Anyway, this battle, we know who, this, who wins this, right? 64 HP versus, or 64 Nora versus 102 Nora. 18 damage versus uh, 41, yeah. Fire Maw is uh, a strange champion. Because a few reasons. One, because uh, he's expensive, but he's not very tanky. 50 HP is okay, but zero defense, right? So for being that, you know, expensive, like 102 Nora is very expensive. Like, I know 80 Nora champions that are like at least at 60 health. So 50 health is like very squishy. Um, and his damage is pretty good. 18 damage, base is nice. Uh, you have that Lava Storm, which is a good AoE. But the, really the reason why you play this champion is because of this, uh, Fiery death combo with uh, where you you get that heart of fire or what is it? Fire damage and heart of fire. You get that heart of fire relic, but once the relic dies, then so if you get you know kill with the fire maw, or if you kill the fire maw and then also kill the relic, uh, that means that you know then you don't get the fire maw back and then it's like eh you know then it's kind of worthless to have this as an idea. So it's really hard to play this battle. Now, if you can get the combo off of, you know, killing your fire mob, but getting the, getting him back after the fiery death, then awesome, because he's a phoenix, right? Um, but I've, I've seen that, like, in all my time once, in, like, an actual game that wasn't, like, a, a, like a, a custom. I've seen fire mob go off and come back once. <laughs> like, it's so hard, actually, to get this off. So, like I said, it's just squishy. I guess Death Nova can be fine, but, like, yeah, it's just so expensive. This champion, though, six, Fire Elements I really like. Um, look, 50 HP, so same HP. 64 Nora, though, only, so it's like, you know what? <laughs> you know, 40 Nora less. Um, but you get some nice stats. Makes them pretty good against uh, melee champions. Melee champions, whatever. Um, 7 speed is nice. Good base. Just stats in general. He's really just a bag. It's like a champ, like a stat bag. Yeah, now you're just going to run him away. But yeah, this Fire Maw, he has to, like, in 1v1s he might be fine, because then you can get a kill and then hopefully get the Fire Maw back, but if there's any champion nearby, then the Fire Maw will just not come back. Alright, here we have the, uh, erupt, Eruption Traps, or what is it called? Which are nice, they do quite a bit of damage, they do, like, 8 damage. Erupt, it's called Heck. And now we have the bottom font for Badrail. So now it's two fonts to one right now. So Badrail is in, in a bit of an advantage. Um, what did he do? I don't know. He can't really... Does he have it in an efficient way? He just slap him, yeah. Yeah, so he's smacking the Fire Elemental. He's Sundered somehow. Does he have Sunder? He does. Um, but he has no real way of getting rid of these, these f traps right now. He can deploy from the Skywing Beacon. Relic Guardian, yeah. Relic Guardian giving the Skywing Patrol some nice damage here because of the uh, Skywing Beacon. So yeah, you can deploy from this Relic, which is nice. Um, but other than that, I don't know. I think if Badger just keeps deploying, he should be fine. I don't know. Because this top font, 
it's going to be really hard to take away from this Fire Mock, especially now that the Valdax Sweeper went away. So, like, next turn, Fire Mock can just move in and start, you know, killing maybe the Guardian or whatever. And then, second of all, once the, uh, Nefari like, so I, what I would do if I'm if I bad rail, but I don't know. Yeah, it's hard though. I would just keep deploying, and you know, this should go about even. I don't exactly, unless there's like a quicken, but this is such low damage. I don't know how you can ever kill this Fire Maw and then not have the Fire Maw also somehow get a kill back. And you already played Hive up here, so 30 Nora wasted at the top as well. Or used, say, put it that way, we used up here. Alright, so there comes the Fire Dragon. Can't Flame Strike though. I wonder if we're going to see a Price of Victory. That would actually get three attacks, but Counterattack Melee, yeah. Counterattack Melee means you don't want to be, uh, you know, smacking this guy from other anything other than range. And actually, these fonts are just kind of blocking the way of the elemental. Otherwise, you could like go onto that, like go this way much easier. So I don't know what you do here. Another one? Oh no. Okay. Go in and maybe kill the relic. Or no, the relic will die to the lava, right? So you can just. So now the guardian has to get into the font um, and move over the lava, and then the high will die of lava as well. Um, sadly, this black guard with this counterattack melee will actually like really do well against UD. Now we have orb of protection, which is really good against range as well as it uh, heals because of the fire acolyte. So good against this skywing patrol. See, do we have tough here? No, no tough. So, all right. So he does move up. That's what I was thinking too. Is he in right? Yeah. Okay. So he's in the font and he moves up. That's a good idea because now, if the patrol wants to move back, that means the uh, relic will go off or the uh, eruption, tr whatever, trap will go off and they will lose eight HP. Hive dies. Yeah, he moves in. Like I said, and now this one v one, like. 30 HP, 18 damage versus 34 HP, 11 damage. I think it, it really depends on who plays the first spell, right? Next turn, Fire Mod, if he gets a double tap off or something, it's kind of scary. We'll do that Flame Strike next turn as well. No Glorious Leap, yeah. So Counter Attack Melee instead of the Glorious Leap here. So. Can't just you know jump in over here somewhere. I don't know. He can move in and sweep. I guess I don't know. If he moves in, he's taking damage from the eruption. Hmm. Yeah. Let's see. He moves this way. Now we have a. Gatling gun. Is this like a relic battle group? It kind of is, right? We have the uh, relic guardian, relic guardian. He's kind of a death eater. I always thought he's kind of a, a, a relic champion as well, in a way. A construct, at least. He's also a construct. So it's like SL relic. This is pretty cool, actually. Relic themes. Alright, so here we can see a flame strike, like I was talking about. Probably on, yeah, on the Skywing Beacon, maybe. Or I guess he does have a double tap here. Yeah. 13 damage only. Wow, it's actually, yeah, three defense plus SL bonus means it's minus 15, so instead of 18, he did, or sorry, minus 5, so instead of, uh, he only did 13 instead of the, instead of the 18 damage. Is this a kill, though? If he uses a spell, it is. He has another 10 damage. Yeah, he needs a spell to get the kill here on the Skyrim Patrol, because the, the charred won't kill him. Oh, wait, did he, there you go. Actually, that's actually kind of funny, actually, uh, the, what's it called? I don't know what that spells. Shoal's fireball actually heals up his uh, fire element elemental there. Yeah, but this guy wing beacon is still alive, so it can still deploy, right? And he did just use a spell, which is kind of scary. And they, these thing is, either if either one of these guys move in, they're taking damage, or the the other one will double tap. So they're both scared of moving in here. We could see uh, another lava storm next turn, though. Next turn, next turn. Alright, there's the lava. You can sweep now. That will deal uh, extra 10. 8 plus... Oh, 5 only. It's only knockback 2, I guess. Yeah, it's only knockback 2, so 8 plus 5. A good amount of damage. He's at 13 health. That means... You now, the misfire has a 50% chance of killing him, though. Because it's random. So, misfire could kill him. 
You can also just move in with the black guard and get the kill if he really wants. Or wait, no, the oh no, he's attack fire, so that doesn't help. Ooh, interesting play. So Frogo goes for the uh, font actually instead of uh, trying to get this kill. Like I said, the 50-50 now with this misfire. Oh, okay, there you go. So scourging Jasper here. Ooh, Sweeper is dead to this uh, chard now though, because he moved in to get the Norglobe. Yeah, moving in to the to get the Norglobe and the Dead Eater proc does kill him though. So I'm not sure if that's the best play. It's kind of you're like hedging. I don't know. You're kind of like de not hedging, but like you're uh, deciding what wh what do you want more and a, you know a ten health sweeper or getting the extra like good amount of nor because of the uh, dead eater allows him to deploy. He could have deployed from here, but he doesn't. So yeah, he's dead. He takes five damage. So many relics here. He really wants to kill the uh, beacon though. Alright, so can we, so we can definitely see a Lava Storm. Lava Storm plus a spell should kill the Guardian. What was that? What? Something was just deployed. Or? No, okay, so he moves in. Is he gonna use a spell though? He's at 15 health. Because of SL bonus. How, well, I mean, loads of SL spells, you know, deal 15 damage, so. Yeah, initiative here to take this font back, so no worries here. Can even uh, flame strike. Not sure if it's even a good idea to flame strike though. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eh, okay. Well, he can flame strike next turn too, but if he had kept his AP, he might be able to uh, run after the black guard if he moves bottom. But it's fine. Oh wow, he doesn't even. Wow. Thing is, the uh, fiery death actually does ten damage. So, <laughs> okay, just killed himself. So the fiery death will actually kill the Valdaki guardian because it does ten damage to everything. So, <laughs> you kind of <laughs> by playing the Valdaki sacrifice, he kind of kills himself with the fiery death now. I mean, I think the death nova lava would have killed him anyway. Well, actually, it's kind of a cool combo. Fiery Death plus Death Nova Lava means anything in range actually takes 20 damage. Um, which is not bad. Like I said, he can now move down if he wants to contest this font. Or he can move and uh, go Fault Breaker. Okay. Yeah, so he moves down. That's what I was thinking he could do too. Um, not a horrible idea. Because for one. Yeah. Ooh, tainted statue. That's interesting. So is he dead actually? He, he is Aura, and he is Aura, right? So actually, he is dead. <laughs> oh my God! What is this game, though? He goes down to here, takes that font. Then he's contesting this one. Then the Fire Fire Dragon contests this font. Wait, look at this kill. Ready? He dies. I think he dies. But now we have the relic, right? So the relic will come back soon. So this is one of the the only times you will ever see this relic come back to play, because there's nothing up here to kill it, right? <gasps> tornado, but he needs to be in range to, to even play the tornado. Oh, please don't surrender, Drago. See if Drago, if uh, Frogo, sorry, Frogo, if Frogo surrenders here, I'm gonna be really sad because I want to see this uh, Phoenix come back to life. But I think he will surrender now. Oh, even though he does have this middle font, yeah, he has a middle font. So he's not doing as bad as I thought. It's one font to one font right now. Yeah, but this Nefari Fire Dragon doing work. As well as the uh, Fire Death actually doing a nice amount of damage. It did 10 damage to everything, remember that, so. See, he keep playing. <laughs> uh, oh, that's not bad. I mean, the Relic Guardian helping out, dealing a good amount of damage. Ooh, here's the kill. But he doesn't have the AP to get into the font. If he does, like he can get in now, but then he won't be able to get the kill. Yeah, and you against UD. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, against UD, you always get the kill because of sacrifice, right? All right. So, <laughs> oh my God. All right. So he's going down here. He can attack this once, actually, only because of the fault breaker. Yeah. So he's now three AP. So fault marker will contest this font one more turn. Next turn, the orb will be dead. This font will be contested, but we do have the Skywing Beacon. I wonder if we can deploy. But the Heart of 
fire will come back to a phoenix, right? And once that phoenix is back, it's GG, because then it's another 105 Nora champion, right? And now we have a, yeah, a Ruby Catalyst. Oh, see, so this is So next turn, this will come back, I believe. Which is kind of cool. Yeah, so we can see, um, he has regen? Yeah, he does. Yeah, you can double tap. So, overprotection is dead. He has only regen one, though. This is contested. This is contested. But this is not. And the uh, fire will come back. Alright, so now he has this bottom font, though. And the nightmare will actually not be able to contest. Because he, he has to attack the marker once. So he's at nine next turn. He attacks once. Then he's at minus five. So he has four AP left. So he can't even you know get into this font. What was that? He deployed. Oh my god! Look, 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 wait, boom! Fire, fire ma, awesome, back. So yeah, now we have that fire ma back, like I was saying. Like, this is literally, I'm not even kidding, the second time I've ever seen this actually happen. Oh. Ha! Lava Storm, you don't see that either that much. Usually you see uh, Fire Strike, which puts him at like 65 Nora instead of 82. But uh, here it just did 24 damage, so not bad. Or was it 40? Yeah, no. 48, sorry, 48 damage. What am I saying, 24? 48 damage, it hits four relics, right? Four relics here. It just killed everything here, yeah. It hits the Gatling Gun, Skywing, Champion, thing. And you can heal the Fire Slinger a bit. Multi-attack. Good move, he moves the Fire Slinger out of range of multi-attack. All right, so this, ooh, 32 HP on his Ruby Catalyst. So he actually needs, Did he just deploy? Crossbow? Where did it go? Oh, right there. It's on the Nora Globe. He might want to run away, even though he did just deploy the storm, so he's not really in that much danger anymore. The thing is, this thing's not dead. He needs to go over and attack it one more time, but he'll be out of range of the uh, Relic Guardian, so he can't even kill it right now. And the thing is, this Guardian is also kind of in danger. I don't know what the point of that was. For Eviscerated? That's weird. Alright, so this font is his, but he, he, he deployed a, a champion. He didn't deploy a champion, so now he can actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I was going to say that he didn't deploy down here to protect this font, so now the fire mall can actually go down. And he decided to play the uh, equipment instead. Oh, look at that damage. Kills all the relics, hits five champions, or five things, and it heals up the fire slinger a bit. Use the fire singer for six. Look at that damage. 12, 12, 12, 12. 12. And now we just gonna do sacrifice or what? I mean, you should have moved him down here though if you can sack. Thing is, usually in UD you want to use sack and stuff, but this is an 82 Nora champion, first of all. And second of all, with fire, fire actually has a surprisingly high amount of healing because of the fire eater and sh such. So once this guy does lava fall, we could just see the fire singer move back and forth on it, and getting quite a bit of health back. Tainted statue. Tainted statue does well here. Actually, uh, made the Nora cost expensive. Yeah, okay. So Ruby Catalyst is dead this coming turn. But the Fire Ma is coming to contest again. Ooh, what was that? War Banner? Alright, War Banner. Oh, who's gonna win this fight? I mean, me Counter Melee is good. And he has a lot of damage. What does this do? Friendly, just because you friendly. Uh, one damage in top. So now he has. Did I actually do damage here? 12. So he has now tough one. Counter attack melee and 17 HP only, though. So UD spell is good here to use. But then again, if he uses a spell, the Tainted Statue will kind of break him. Man, such a close game, actually. But I think Badrill has this. He has two fonts right now versus zero. And another big thing is that the, uh, that, uh, Frago had to deploy his, um, shrine. So that's quite a bit of less, quite a bit less, um, Nora coming to him now. I think we even have another Lava Storm. Oh, no, it's five turns. Cool down, maybe not. Majestic here, right? I think all these champions are so low. 11, 12, 17. Everything is low HP. Okay, so that, was a, that was a very expensive spell because of the uh, tainted statue, but he gets the kill though.
because of it. He gets the kill on the black guard. Yeah, <laughs> cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. He kills the um, war banner, which makes it so he doesn't even have to attack the black guard because the uh, minus five HP. No, they did no damage because of tough and SL bonus. Yeah, like I said, now he can just run across this. He has to actually run across this or sacrifice. He'll be he'll die to the eviscerate otherwise. There you go. So he's gonna gain another six HP here from running or not. Runs back, and he can come in, take the font, or contest it. I mean, probably should contest it, right? I mean, is he? He should. I mean, SL champion is very tank. Look at him, twenty damage. He's very scary. Wow, he keeps it. He's dead though. So this font will be bad rails again, and. uh this guy's so low. He's just so low. Yeah, both of them are playing, you know, they're both okay players. Like, I think I'm about, like, as good as these guys. But they're playing, you know, funny battle groups. Like, Relic, SL Relic versus UD Fire, you know? So it's, like, both really funky battle groups. You don't see this too often. Non-meta things happening. It's always fun. Yeah. Advantage definitely to Battle Grill. I mean, it's one, one font, two fonts to one. But, you know, the deploy already. Ooh, we do have another Tainted Sacrifice, which is nice. Thing is, that the Flame Singer, does he have Lava Storm yet, I wonder? Let's get this one of those wants. If he can get into this font and deploy a spell to kill both of these guys, it's GG. Right? One spell to kill these guys, and then it's, uh, you know, it's just too much. And then nothing can happen anymore. That's what he's going to do here, right? Goes in, fire blast, or I don't even know what. Oh, it's a bit of a misplay. The uh, Shoals Fireball, if he actually hit himself, I wonder if you can actually do that on yourself, because then it would have bounced on the Flame Singer first, and then on him, and then on him. But, yeah, it gets the kill. Can he? Thing is, is he dead still? 10, 10, yeah, he's dead. So, no, fire, fire singer's actually dead here. Ooh, masochism, right? Yeah, masochism. On the uh, nightmare. Also, if he moves in. No, he can't. Yeah, masochism actually just gonna hit this nightmare. Meaning that fire singer actually survives. So VP would be really strong here. Just to VP the fire slinger and then get your font back. But now the nightmare just stays alive. So we're probably going to see the um, Zealot go up, take this font back. This is actually getting closer than I thought. Yeah, we do have the relics kind of just contesting now. It's fine. Yeah, there. Please contest. Does he have this? He's not in range anyway. He's not in range of the Lava Storm. Oh, wow. He's Escalation, though. Giving him loads of damage. And you can just heal. See, that's what's so nice about masochism is even if he, you know, takes the damage, the nightmare heals up so quickly. He can heal for 12 a turn. Anyway, GG. Awesome game. Fire versus SL relics and or equipment. So cool game. GG.